Hey, what's up? It's Taka here. Welcome back to my weekly blog. Uh, today, uh, this week, I published a new video on Deva's life, which is about uh, how I take tech notes. And uh, I've also created a web page uh, about the same same topic uh, on my Inkshop website. So uh, it is like uh, another blog post, but uh, it's not a typical uh, typical article page because uh, it is on the Inkshop website instead of uh, Medium or uh, Ghost. And uh, so I, I coded, I coded this page uh, to make it fun to read uh, because there are some interactions like this. Uh, it changes the perspective as you scroll and there are uh, carousel image galleries here. So you can enjoy uh, reading this article to learn how to take tech notes instead of uh, reading a long, long uh, text-based article. So I'd like to talk about how I made this this page. And uh, the source code is available on the GitHub here. So in drop app slash top. And uh, so as you can see, it is based on Gatsby. Uh, let's jump into the... Um, so here is uh, package jo package JSON. So it's built with Gatsby uh, version five, and the yeah. So it's a very very <laughs> long uh, old project. So I the first commit is six years ago. So I've been uh, maintaining this project over six years. So uh, yeah, it's quite old, and uh, it's hard to easily uh, migrate to another framework like AstroJS. So I'm currently stick sticking with Gatsby, but it's it's uh, good enough uh, for such a small uh, website. Mm. So there are uh, there are only uh, a few pages like uh, uh, this tips page, gallery page, reviews page, top page, and the pricing page, and uh, uh, not found page. Yeah. So yeah, it's a uh, quite simple uh, website uh, for the uh, landing page, and uh, I'd like to talk about how I created uh, this tips page. Uh, because there are uh, some interactions like here, and they it uses uh, uh, yeah. So here is the page, and uh, it's a React component uh, which has some uh, sections like write tool uh, for the light task and four steps page, and there are uh, it. Uh, mm, it cor they correspond to each section, like uh, this is a masthead section, and uh, they, this is a, a, the second section, third section, fourth, sec fourth sections, and fifth section. So they are components uh, for each section, like this. And the, uh, so this one has a, uh, this diagram, and this is four steps for taking tech notes. Four steps. Yep. Uh, so this is the uh, section, and there is a perspective image component. So this is uh, this component here, and uh, it's a. Uh, <coughs> oh. Uh, I created this component two years ago, I guess. Uh, no, it's a more older, <laughs> much more older. Uh, so it uses a, a transform CSS, uh, yeah, here to to change the perspect perspective, three uh, D perspective. So as you can see, it has a transform style. Uh, as preserved 3D, so it can pre preserve the the 3D. Uh, I don't know how to say. It. Uh, so it uses a transform style, 
and uh, as you scroll it, uh, it changes the, the style. Rotate Y and rotate X based on the cursor position. Uh, no, 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 uh, based on the scroll position. Yeah. And there are uh, a lot of triangles behind the image here to make it uh, to make the, some depth uh, to the section. Uh, it's a <clears throat> so there are three three classes uh, which are BG triangles and one two three, and they have a different parameters, transform parameters like uh, here. So it changes the uh, different, it has different scale and the negative value to, to, to flip, to flip the, <laughs> uh, the, the triangle direction. And yeah, so it becomes a, a interesting composition. Mm. So, Another one is a carousel gallery. So there, are, because there are a bunch of example notes to display, uh, I needed to use a carousel layout to make it short, keep it short. And you can click the image to enlarge, uh, so you can see that my notes uh, in detail. So you can drag the items, carousel items. And there is also uh, a embedded, embedded video here. It's on the carousel. So I used uh, Embra carousel, Embra, Embra, Embra carousel. Uh, it's uh, Uh, it's uh, basically, uh, uh, I guess, it's a simple lightweight carousel library. Uh, it's very, uh, it's very well designed. So uh, I would recommend it uh, because there are a lot of examples here. So you can quickly copy and paste the example code to, into your uh, your project, like so. So here is the Imbra uh, carousel component. Mm. So I use it for, I use it here. So there is a carousel component and I call the uh, Ember carousel react hook. So you can get, uh, you can get a number of uh, carousel items and uh, current selected index and scroll to API, things like that. So you don't have to use a uh, uh, React context or anything like that. So you can simply call the Embra API to uh, make it interactive and uh, style customize your the component style. That's very useful. Hmm. So this is the carousel item. And uh, it has a simple, mm, simple, simple style sheets. Yeah, yeah. I it's I, I highly recommend it when you need to uh, add the carousel layout. Yeah. Hmm. So that's it. So yeah, that's it. I hope it's helpful, and thank you for watching. Yeah, have a nice day. Have a have a productive day.